welcome to the Wednesday edition of DC Today. And I have just literally walked into my apartment here in New York City, been on a plane all day coming out from Southern California, uh, fought the traffic from JFK in my car service through Queens, over the uh, Queensboro Bridge into Manhattan to run up and record this for you. And um, I bring with me a rally day in markets, Dow up 408 points, both NASDAQ and S&P up uh, about one and a quarter as well, um, literally within a few basis points. All three indexes up literally right around that 1.25% level on the day. Um, basically, both Speaker McCarthy and President Biden saying, we don't have a deal yet, we're not done, but no, 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 we're not going to default on the debt. And the only thing I want to say is, I think there's days the market's going to drop for no reason around, oh my gosh, they don't have a deal. And I think there's days that the market's going to rally higher for no reason. Like, oh yeah, good news. They promised they're not going to default. So let me just tell you something. They're not going to default of the debt. It's all been a big lie to begin with. But beyond that, I still think the glass is half empty side of where we go between now and the end of it will have deals that fall apart before a deal that gets done. That's just my experience with this and my read of what the politics are like. So the kind of major points I want to offer on the debt ceiling thing, and then I'll give a few other little tidbits and I'll let you go. Um, I don't know when they'll have to start prioritizing payments. If, but that is prioritizing payments is different than a debt default. And that's the big point I've been making for months and months and months and months that a debt default is a technical term, meaning the missed principal or interest payment on a treasury bond. It's not going to happen. Prioritizing payments, uh, which they've had to do dozens of times in my lifetime, and it's ugly and it's weird and it's political and it's not good, but it's not a debt default. I suspect that there will come a push up against that wall before they actually get there for the simple reason that the politics are just not such that either side is likely to fully go along with what the other side's doing without there being some sort of crisis moment. But how the Treasury Department, Janet Yellen, keeps, uh, excuse me, Secretary Janet Yellen keeps coming out and saying, on this date, we could run out of money, or this date, we're gonna have to do this or do that. And, and if I don't know how they know the date when the January 15th tax payments are not known. January 15th is a quarterly estimate date and the collections of which, you know, there's a certain range they could certainly know, they can project. But as far as like running out of cash, you could be up or down a hundred billion dollars, you know. So I just, I don't, I think there's so many different um, knobs that can, can be and will be turned that, expect a lot of rounds back and forth in this negotiating process before we get there. Um, the White House largely believes it is more to their political benefit to be seen as getting a deal done than it is to be seen fighting with the Republicans. The Republicans in the Senate see it the same way, better to get a deal done, and many in the House see it the same way, and I would imagine Speaker McCarthy as well. There's definitely an element of the Republicans in the House that do believe it's to their primary, meaning the political benefit in a primary, to be seen as not getting a deal done. And so, you know, that there, that's just part of the deal here. Um, noise, which is what I'm describing, that will happen is not material to a portfolio. Uh, you do not need to know what happens between now and X, whatever the X date is that this stupid thing is done. You don't need to know what happens between now and X to know that on the other side of X, it will be like the noise never happened for one's portfolio. So we have absolutely no intention of trading this thing. Um, and I don't recommend anyone do so. Uh, by the way, as far as contrarian thinking goes, do with this what you will. Cash levels are the highest they've been all year um, in terms of the Bank of America, uh, which kind of the gold standard of institutional portfolio surveying. Um, and bond allocations are the highest they've been since 2009. Now, of course, bonds are the most attractive they've been since 2009 as well. So do with that what you please. Um, but 
keep this up, you may you may end up seeing a full blown uh, rally here. Who who knows? Four hundred points today. We had been down other days, so there's just a lot of teeter totter going on. That's exactly our forecast. We don't think much of it one way or the other. What was up most today? I believe was financials were up over two percent. Uh, yes, indeed. Utilities were down a tiny bit. It's an interesting comment on breadth. You had consumer staples were right at the flat line, down 10 basis points. Utilities were down 36, but with Dow up over 400 points, you don't usually have a couple sectors down. So it'll be interesting tomorrow to see the total advanced decline line. Uh, crude oil rallied over 2.5% today. Bonds were pretty much flat. The 10 year was up two basis points to 3.57% on the 10-year Treasury yield. Uh, housing starts were up 2.2% in the month of April. That was basically in line with expectations, a little bit better. Uh, but they're down 22% housing starts year over year, with single-family residents down 28%, which is massive, and uh, multifamily apartments down 11%. Uh, somebody asked me in the Ask David section what my thoughts are on a flat, oh, excuse me, a fair tax. This proposal that several have had for, you know, it's been around a couple decades now, the idea of a sort of national sales tax to replace a national income tax. And I provide my answer in DC today um, written. I would do it right here on the podcast video, but we don't have time. So go to the dctoday.com if you want to hear what I think about uh, fair tax. I think I've given you the rest of the info. Look forward uh, to any questions you have, questions at thebonsongroup.com. Thank you, as always, for listening. Thank you, as always, for watching. And thank you for reading the DC Today. Mm -hmm.